like to say that if you're having a problem with your TV, be sure to check the model number first. This is what appears in this little box over here. Um, every TV is different. This is a Sony LCD TV, but you'll see the model number and serial number over in a box like this. The model number and serial number are very important because that is what will help you to identify what parts are needed to repair your TV. If you're having a problem with your TV, please feel free to comment in the comment section below this video or send us a message on YouTube with your TV model number and the problem that you're having. This way we'll be able to help you diagnose the problem and suggest a fix. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have unplugged your TV from any power source and that you have also grounded yourself properly. Next you'll want to take out the screws in the TV that are holding the back cover on it. Every back cover of a TV is different but most are held in by screws and can be easily removed. So we've removed all the screws here on the back of the TV. Now we're just going to remove this back panel. The Tcom board will sometimes be sitting right here on a TV, but for this one it has slipped into this little area right here. The Tcon is what connects your main board to your LCD panel through the LVDS cable. Again, this cable is very fragile, so you'll want to be very careful if you're disconnecting it at any point. One common symptom of a bad Tcon board is if your TV has backlights and sound but there is no picture. So let's say that you have your cable box connected to your TV. You turn it on, but you are not able to see the image. That means that most likely there will be a problem with your TCON board because you are getting the sound from the main board, but you are not getting the image through the TCON. Another common problem with the TCON board is that you can get colored vertical lines on your screen or half of the screen is missing the picture. Now, something that's a little bit unique about this TV is that the TCON board is actually bonded into the panel. So you would not be able to replace this TCON board, but now we're going to take a look at a different TV where you would be able to replace the TCON, where it is located out here on the panel, similar to these other parts in this TV. You'll just have to remove the screws that hold the TCON to the panel and then disconnect the connections very carefully, especially the LVDS, as it is very fragile. Some TCONs also can have ribbon connectors, and you want to be very careful with removing those as well. We'll show you a video right now on how to remove the ribbon connectors. Using your finger, flip up the tab on the ribbon connector and gently remove the ribbon. Please do not use a screwdriver to open ribbon connectors, as it can cause damage to the pins. Gently guide the ribbon back into the connector, match the line printed on the ribbon cable with the edge of the connector, and close the tab on the top. Thank you for watching our LCD video. Again, just a reminder that if you have any issues with your TV and you can't quite figure out the problem, feel free to comment below this video in the comment section and try and be sure to include your TV model number, possibly the serial number, and any symptoms or problems that your TV is displaying. If you do not want to post a comment below the video, please feel free to send us a YouTube message. The more information that you can provide to us about your TV issue, the faster and more accurate our response can be. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button 